and action. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Here's the Thing. Advent is here the new liturgical year. Interesting because regular calendar, secular, non-church calendar tells us that this is the end of our year, that our year is coming to a close, but within the church, our year has already ended and we're beginning the new one, starting this December, starting with Advent. During the Advent season, we await the coming of our Lord. We await the birth of our Lord. We await the arrival of our Savior with Mary and Joseph and all of those that were anticipating his coming. We wait with them. We await for his arrival in our own lives. And that's why this time is so important, right? Because at the beginning of this liturgical year, we anticipate our Savior. We become familiar with him, with who he says he is, right? In the scriptures, with who he is presented to us to be in the Old Testament, with who we know him to be from the Gospels and from the New Testament, and from who we have come to learn him to be in our own lived experiences, life, and prayer. Long ago, when people were anticipating the arrival of the Messiah, when this Messiah, this anointed one to come, was all talk, right? Was this far away concept. He was understood to be a savior, somebody who was going to come and save everybody, right? A general savior who was going to come and save the world, which he did and he does still today, obviously. But for those of us who are past the crucifixion, right? Who have grace, who can frequent the sacraments, who grow familiar with him on a daily basis in our personal relationships, we can reset and reorient ourselves at the beginning of each liturgical calendar, not just anticipating the general Messiah who comes and saves us from our sins, but the Messiah who comes to save each and every single one of us in our own daily struggles, in our own lives, with our own personal problems. This Advent, I invite you to reorient yourselves by becoming, once again, familiar with who the Savior is and what he desires to be, not just for this world and his church, but for you specifically. Read the daily readings. Pray ahead with the Sunday's Gospels. Go to confession. Spend time with Mary and Joseph asking them to teach you what it means to prepare for the coming of Jesus and await a person, not an event. Await Jesus, not the generalization of Christmas Day. That's it. That's all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for stopping by. So excited about the Advent season. Like most Catholics, this is my all-time favorite liturgical season. I hope you guys make it a good one. Know that I am praying for you. Say a little prayer for me, my friends, and we will talk very, very soon. Bye!